Hey everyone, what's up? This is Simon from the Ionic Academy, back with a new quick win. So this time we will use a cool plugin uh, which is called Ionic Image Loader and this component takes care of loading images in a background uh, thread and caching them. So this comes really handy if you want to display images from an API or any external source. And therefore, let's go ahead and first of all, install the Ionic Image Loader. Um, at the time of writing this, I had to use the 4.2.1 version um, because the latest version had issues with the new um, WK web view on iOS. So perhaps you can also try a later version uh, if you watch this video at a later time. Then we need to install the Ionic native according packages for both file and file transfer. So file transfer is still used in the version 4 of the plugin, therefore we have to add it. And also the according Cordova plugins as um, the image loader component uh, uses those native Cordova plugins under the hood to make the request and download the files. So once the first plugin is added, um, okay, there it is. Add the second one for the file. So Cordova plugin file transfer and Cordova plugin file. Also, um, of course, if we use those Cordova plugins, uh, we will not be able to test the behavior of the image loader in the browser, but still I will bring it up so we can see if we uh, added any issues to our app. But in the end, we have to run the app on our device to test uh, the full functionality. Okay, so if you have installed all the packages, go to your app module and first of all, import the HTTP client module from add angular uh, common HTTP and add the client module to your imports. And also we need to import the ionic image loader from ionic image loader. Surprise, surprise. So add this to your imports as well. And then um, say for root on the image loader plugin. So it will be initialized for our app. Okay, that's all for this integration part. Now, if you want to configure some uh, special settings for the plugin, you could simply add private image loader uh, config right here of the type image loader config and the import um, magically right this time. So what you could say are a few things. So you can specify the background behavior, the directory, uh, how many images should be loaded uh, at the same time. You could set the max cache size, height. Um, there are quite a few options. So just uh, let's try a few. So we will enable the debug mode to get some more information what the plugin is doing. Uh, then we say enable fallback as placeholder true. So this means um, normally there's a spinner on the loading image, but if we do it like this, we can set a fallback URL simply to our assets folder. Um, so assets images logo, which would be the Ionic logo. And we will see this very briefly inside our app. Um, finally, perhaps set maximum uh, cache age. So if you want to make it one day, 24 hours, 60 minutes, 60 seconds and JavaScript. <laughs> so milliseconds to seconds. Then we got all the configurations. So uh, simply check out the plug in and there's a great overview about all the things you could set on the plugin. All right, let's head over to our home HTML uh, Ionic image loading and add some functionalities to the app. So ion buttons and button ion button and on click we will load the data for our app. Inside the ion content, um, let's add a refresher, but I always 
spell it wrong. So simply pull to refresh, which will clear out our cache. So of course, this is also included uh, with a component. Then a list of items. Um, for this example, I will use, um, again, the random user API, great API, uh, support the creators, um, definitely. So we iterate over our users and then uh, we will use the avatar of Ionic and we leave this open for now um, and finish with user.email. All right. And now we're making use of the actual image loader component. So this is an own tag. Um, we can set the source just like we're used with uh, regular images. And I will use the Elvis operator just to make sure we don't run into any errors if the user picture is not set. Also, uh, you can specify that it's not only in this element, but it creates an IMG element. Um, I don't know, I think it is needed for Ion Avatar, so try it out or leave it out. And you could even subscribe to the load event. So on image load, uh, do whatever you want with the event. And then close it like this, of course. Now, finally, we need some data, but the hard part is already over. So HTTP client, client, okay. Yes, there it is, um, might work perhaps. And then we will have a users array and also we will store the JSON information to uh, try some different cases out. So our load data function uh, will check if we already got JSON data. And if we don't, we use our HTTP client to make a get request to the random user API. Um, this will give us 100 results, which look like this more or less. Um, and there's the result array, which we need the data from. So subscribe result, and then set our users to rest at the uh, key result. And also I will save this JSON response uh, for later because if we make this request again, we will get back different data and I don't want that. So in the else case, um, we will set our users to an empty array. So if we reload more or less the data, we fake this a bit. Um, we set a little timeout and once the timeout is finished, uh, let's say one second, uh, we then set our users again to the data. And we will see how this behavior looks on the browser um, and how this looks um, with the plugin installed on a device. So now we still got the clear cache event from the refresher. So in that case, uh, we need to add private image loader, image loader, import looks good. And then simply say image loader, clear cache, and that's it. Your cache will be cleared. Uh, set the refresher to complete if you use it. And finally, we added the uh, on image load event as well. So if you want to make any specific action here, we don't do it. I will just log out image ready. All right, so let's see this inside the browser. Uh, hopefully it works. Uh, of course, I knew this import was bullshit. Okay. Let's refresh. And we should see, first of all, an empty list. And if we now hit uh, the load, we see we make a request to get 100 results. And uh, we... Uh, let user of users. What did I do wrong? Uh, subscribe result. Um, hello. 
Um, I think it's actually results, not result. So my bad. Um, so one more time, load request. And then we see uh, one request for all the images and we can clear this load again. And uh, we don't see any requests again, uh, strange. Um, but okay, we got some console log in here as well. So if we hit load, um, we get this image loader warning because um, we're running not with Cordova, but on a uh, browser. And I see that for some reason, uh, Ion Avatar, uh, okay, item start. It looked a bit different than it should, but now it should look better, right? So normally this makes a request every time. And if we uh, make a refresh, this has no uh, effect in the browser because we've only implemented the mechanism for our device. Um, perhaps my browser has now also uh, stored caching, disable cache, I don't know. Um, looks a bit strange because normally it makes the request again and again, even if you use JSON data you had locally. Um, but anyway, uh, we see that the app is working for now. So let's see how this looks on a device. All right, to the left we can see the app and to the right I opened the Safari debugging tools. So let's hit load inside the app. And then we see that our debugger is not working like it should work because I've connected my QuickTime. Um, anyway, um, normally you would see all the requests again, just like uh, we had in the browser. And if you hit load one more time, you will see that the images immediately come up. It's also what you can see uh, right now. So whenever I hit load, um, it makes no other request um, and all the images are taken from our local um, device because um, the plugin will, whenever an image request comes, download the file in a background thread and store it on the device. So you can actually uh, inspect the container of the application using Xcode and see that the files are downloaded to this container. And also right now, um, there's NSURL caching also active. So this will also try to cache stuff. Um, but anyway, um, it's a bit hard to debug and see the effect of this plugin. Uh, also, the images are rather small. So um, give it a try. It's quite easy to integrate. Just add the image loader for root. Um, perhaps add some configuration settings for your app. There are more again on the GitHub page and then add the image loader to your HTML, um, perhaps attach a load event, um, check if you need use image or not, and then load your API data and images and be happy that your files are now cached for the user and can be used later on. If you enjoyed this quick win, make sure to check out the ionicacademy.com and also subscribe to this channel for more videos. I'll catch you the next time. Have a great day and take care.